Hey guys, it's me, Halloween Dog. Doing a video today, which is one of my favourites to do, where today I'm going to react to somebody else's horn. This is a horn from last year, 2022, and it's a horn I've been meaning to look into for a few months now and haven't had a chance to actually watch this or react to it or anything because there's been far too many things going on. In honesty, today I wanted to make this video because it's acting almost as a bit of a distraction for me. If you aren't aware, right now on the other side of the pond, there is a huge Halloween event about to take place called Trans World, which is without a doubt the world's biggest Halloween expo that takes place anywhere on earth. And it's full of amazing stalls selling amazing Halloween stuff. Basically anything Halloween you can think of and any of the big players when it comes to Halloween stuff, they're probably gonna be there in some shape or another. And seeing all these YouTubers who are also haunters getting to go, it both fills me with excitement and also it breaks my heart a little bit because I know I'm never really going to get the opportunity to go. And living in a country like the UK, these things just don't happen. At least not on that kind of scale, which is sad for me. I, I wish it did. I really do. So today I thought I'd react to somebody else's horn and get some cool ideas, see what kind of things this person got up to last Halloween. And like I say, it's one of my favourite things to do. So let's just get straight into this. So the horn I'm going to be reacting to today is called Crescent Grove and the horn is made by a guy called Mr. Halloween Junkie who is also on YouTube so go and follow this guy because he is very very creative. This horn was brought to my attention by my good friend on YouTube, the Phantom Haunter, who has suggested many horns for me to react to and this was one of them a couple of months ago now. And like I say, this is my first opportunity to really get to do this. So, let's do this! Tucked away in the depths of the woods on a feared patch of land long uninhabited by the living lies the notorious Crescent Grove, a long forgotten cemetery home to numerous wandering souls, all dressed up and nowhere to go. Lost to time, they live together in peace, free from the living that they've grown to hate. Ooh, I ran out of time to read that. Okay. Ooh. Something's moving with a lantern. Love a prop with a lantern. Oh, cool. Ooh, creepy baby. I like the tombstones and the candles. Oh. Oh, this is um, the cellar dweller. Cellar dweller, isn't it? That's what he's called. Oh, he looks really good in this. I said I reviewed him last year and sort of said I wasn't sure how good he really was. But in this... Oh no, it's not the cellar drawer. No, no, this is the swamp zombie. Swamp zombie, sorry. Spirits, yeah. Oh yes, more souls to feed the dead. Please pass through and let us take your life. Cool, I don't know who this is. Listen don't know what part that is. Simple, but I like it. You. They are calling your name. Cool. It is time for you join them for an eternity <laughs> so the haunt describes itself as an official haunt walkthrough so it oh cool projection it must oh wow i like that witch she's a good cool creepy witch i love the moon projection in the background too great lantern oh look at the hands that's cool inside the lantern She's creepy. I like her. The moon projection's good. Oh, wow, look at that. Black cat. Simple but effective. I love that. Really cool. This is clearly like inside a like inside a garage or something, or they've made this to, as a walkthrough for people, a haunted house walkthrough. Really, really cool. I love that projection and the sound. Oh, God, what's he called? 
the jump scare skeleton guy. I've forgotten the names of these props. It's another spirit prop, though. People rem... I'm terrible at names. I'm terrible at names of props. I just know them by luck. Tell me the names in the comments. Ooh, wow. What a mouth-watering aroma. You smell like fear. Ooh. And I exist for fear. I don't know who this guy is. He's awesome. Ooh, look at that creepy little cherub moving its head. Creepy. I like the fountain. Oh, look, there's another one. A little devil. <laughs> Cupid guy, fountain. Oh, hang on, I think I know what this prop is. Is this Lord Raven? I knew you would be here soon. Yes. Say I have eyes all over. Wow. He looks really great in this, in the horn. Wherever you run, this horn especially, mate, he looks awesome. You. Public gathering when the platform suddenly gave way. Well... <laughs> I like the tombstones. Whoa. Help me. Help what me. the hell is that? Daddy. Daddy. Beloved daughter. Oh, Jesus Christ. Creepy. But I like it. What the hell is that? This is a... This is an awesome horn. I love this. Could you imagine walking through this in the dark? I love the atmosphere they've created though. Love the tombstone. Ooh. Oh, cool. Take one step into this grave. I love the way this has been filmed as well. It makes it look so epic. We are waiting for you. So awesome. I don't know the names of these props, but they are amazing. I love them. Look at me. Just as all the others. Oh, I know this one. Now that I have you, your soul will be. Is this mine This is Harvester forever. of Souls, right? Is it? I've forgotten the name. I'm terrible at names. So good though. I love this prop. Absolutely amazing. Dog statue. Whoa! <laughs> cool. That's so good. Loving the zombies. You know, I never used to like a zombie prop, but as the years have gone on, I think they're some of my favourites. <laughs> never used to like them. Especially a groundbreaker. Like a groundbreaker. Ooh, cool projection again. What's in there? I see this is look at this. It's so such a simple projection. Just some creepy spiders creeping along the wall. And the way they've actually put the cobwebbing over the wall. Really, really clever. S simple effect, but so very effective. I love that. You know. That's how projection should be used. Ah, oh, you look it's like grim. Death warmed over, my friend. I love this skeleton this with those good. servo motors, with that extra bit of movement. Soon there will be enough of us. Just for a skeleton, he, he's quite a simple a skeleton, but for just a skeleton, he's actually night. a really effective prop. Are you with me, tonight is ours. Wow, so cool. And that was it. So if you want to go check that horn out for yourself, that was Crescent Grove, which was a haunt by Mr. Halloween Junkie. Really worth having a look at. The channel itself is also really cool too. I have subscribed, so yes, I am also a Halloween Junkie. Hello. Really, really cool haunt. I loved everything that guy did there. Really, a lot of it, I, that's the sort of haunt I love. I love it. It's it's kind of simple, it's it's not too in your face, it's not a million things all going off at once. It's it's supposed to draw you in, you're supposed to follow the path, and each prop and each projection and each thing was just so well placed. Everything was just awesome in that haunt. It was really well put together, and I personally would love to have a walk through that haunt, but probably never will. It's 
because I live in the UK. Yeah, I'm never going to get the chance. But you know, I can dream. Anyway, guys, thank you for joining me today. Thank you for watching, and I will see you in the next one. Keep it spooky. Bye.